Just society makes these beauty standards for you to fit in. And for me, I was ugly because I didn't fit into them. First would just be high school. I was not really that pretty. A doctor told me I was also overweight. I can embrace a certain part of my personality that I wasn't able to before. Okay, we are back. Oh Hold on my hair. Okay. We are back with another journal entry. And what are we gonna be talking about this time, guys? <laughs> Growing up ugly, late bloomers, ugly duckling. Sometimes when I usually talk about this on social media, people are like, you didn't grow up ugly. Have you seen a photo of me? When I say growing up ugly, I'm gonna use quotation marks because I don't think ugly is a thing. Society makes it out to be. Sometimes people don't fit in into the conventional beauty standards. It's just society makes these beauty standards for you to fit in. And for me, I was ugly because I didn't fit into them. I'm currently a senior in college. I'm gonna show you guys some photos, okay? First would just be high school. I'm not gonna break them out into freshman versus senior year, just high school, okay? 14 to 18. A doctor told me I was also overweight. I was very stressed because I was very worried about um, getting into college, um, studying for the standardized test. I would eat based off of my emotions, basically. So I had a significant weight gain. I didn't really care about my appearance. I didn't care what I looked like. And you know what was really toxic as well? I looked down on those who dressed really pretty to make myself feel better, you know, which is really messed up. And let me show you guys some photos from freshman year of college, which was around, I would say, three years ago. I think here I was getting more, um, like, bleaching my hair, like, trying new things. You know I didn't wear a dress until my high school graduation because I was scared? Like, I wore dresses as a kid, but when I was like, in high school, I never wore a dress because I was so insecure with how I looked like. So yeah, so in college, I was actually just, like, wearing stuff that I want, trying to develop a sense of style, but at the same time, not really knowing what exactly I'd like. My transition from high school senior year to college freshman year i basically lost some weight and i think it was just like i was not as stressed anymore about the college application cycle because i got into college i just bought all sorts of clothes that fit me as long as it fits me i'm gonna buy it and then moving on to sophomore year which was you know kind of like quarantine i was more independent i think it was during quarantine that i really got into makeup i wasn't good at it but i was at least trying to get better at it. Spent a lot of time at home. And that was an experimental stage. Junior year was when I started posting on social media. It was like, kind of like my incoming junior year in that summer. I started posting it on TikTok. And so being exposed to all of like these people online, I also it also helped me develop like what type of look I, I want, like what type of clothes I like, what type of makeup I like to do. And so junior year was more like I was going for like hardcore eyeliner, like very edgy because I saw other people doing it. So I was like, okay, this is good. I want to do it too. Oh my God, I was so committed to like bring my tripod out and just take photos by myself. Honestly, my outfits back then, oh, look so good. I would literally wear stilettos just to get photos. I got it. I don't know who I was, but it, it was fun though. But it was like, I would never go out in like comfortable clothing. You go out and just take photos by myself. Anyway, anyways. Anyways, now I'm on the last semester of college. I'm in the spring semester now, okay? Like one month till graduation, basically. And next, I want to talk about my experience of growing up ugly. And I want to talk about the contrast of how people perceive me, my interactions, my experience after gaining this pretty privilege. If you're watching, you're like, Why is she not even that pretty? I'm just talking about the instance where um, I fit into a standard a bit better compared to before. I just want to talk about that change, okay? So growing up ugly, basically 18 years in my life. Sometimes when you grow up ugly, you have to have like a personality sometimes for people to approach you. You have to have an outgoing personality. Be the funny person, you know, so people to talk to you, right? I'm not saying like, oh, just because like you're ugly, nobody's gonna talk to you. I was not really that pretty. I was also very shy, introverted, and just really just in the books, like just focus on my academics. Like I wanted friends at the same time I realized how hard it was, but also I'm a fearful avoidant. Never been in a relationship and just really scare commitment that aside um yeah growing up ugly definitely doesn't help in making friends all right back in high school people would just or even in college too like people post on their social media who they hang out with usually for me that's not the case people don't really something when you hang out with people they really won't post you on social media i feel i always knew like i was not the pretty friend so it's, it's fine like, they don't post me <laughs> I was also really insecure to try out new clothing because I was like, it's not gonna look good even. And even if I did like a clothing afterwards, when I see people taking photos of me, I just get so self-conscious being like, oh, I feel so ugly because I look a certain way. I felt like I was also a bit more fearless because I, I was kind of also confident in a way. Like, you know what's fine? I look like this way, it doesn't matter because I had a goal. My goal was going into college. I'm a first gen student and I had a goal and that itself made me fearless. It didn't, I didn't care about what I looked like. 
I also didn't talk to anyone romantically and at that phase of my life I was questioning my sexuality a lot as well but uh, even so I, I didn't explore think too much about it I just assumed I was straight like I'll have crushes I have people that I like but I wouldn't approach anyone my ego is also so high like, they don't deserve me honestly slay as a slay like I was also very aware of what I look like but at the same time I was kind of delusional as well like, <laughs> So Honestly, but slay though. But like when people take photos of me, oh, this is not what I imagine myself to look like. And yeah, sometimes when I walk into like stores, people wouldn't really greet me. I, I had to try harder because I didn't look a certain way. I had to be more outgoing. I have to be more bubbly. And I think it was in uh, my freshman year in college. I switched my personality. I tried to be more outgoing. Being outgoing for me and being more sociable is an aspect of me. But I feel like in freshman year, I really tried to amplify it because I really want to build this new me and I want to make new friends and, you know, be in friend groups. And that worked. I was very friendly. I was very extroverted. You know, people would just talk to me and I, oh, I was in friend groups and it was really great. Um, but then it came to the point that I feel like I have to keep it up. I have to be the extroverted friend because that's all I have ever was or that funny friend or the hyping up that type of friend. I was not the pretty friend. Without that, I don't feel like I was anything. And people are attracted to me because of that, because of that outgoing personality, because of that fun personality. I don't got the looks to offer, but I got my personality. That's how I think back then. Fast forward to now, where I've gained that pretty privilege a little bit more. And the difference that I've seen is just the fact that we can clearly see on social media, pretty privilege is real. If you look a certain way, people want to watch your videos, right? Definitely personality has a play in it, but being pretty definitely helps being pretty. I think that now that I fit into the beauty standards a lot more, um, see, it's so weird for me to say that because like, it's just even now I still don't feel like pretty because of the 18 years where I just I definitely feel like these days I don't need to try as hard if I talk to someone people are just really engaged with me like they'll actually be listening to what I have to say and I don't need to up my personality even so I feel like my personality has been pretty consistent throughout it's just that I realize like I don't need to be extremely extroverted for people to want to listen to me and people will greet me when I enter makeup stores people will say hi people are just overall kinder to me I don't know like I feel like this might be due to my own personality I feel like I'm more like guarded up I feel like making friends back then was easier I feel like people when you look a certain way people might think you act a certain way as well before like knowing you but I, I do want to meet more people and make new friends I do have a few friends and when you grow up ugly one of the biggest things is just at least for me I have a lot of trust issues would they still like me if I looked a certain way what happens if I look like that back then would they still be my friend my significant other and sometimes I would get hyper fixed on how I look and sometimes because of the shift of how I look like back then versus now I still do not know what I look like I have no idea what I look like when I look at myself I just look at the flaws right now I'm like I'm presentable but the more I look at it I look into my flaws and when I look into my flaws I don't see anything else so when people take photos of me they're like oh this is good when I look at it I'm like they're decent but they're not good good they're not good and basically it would take like around a week or two but when I look at the photos again I'm like oh I actually look pretty decent here like what was I thinking it takes me a while for me to look at a photo from an outside perspective because the first thing when I see a photo of me is I look at the flaws it's like when you never really gotten complimented in 18 years and suddenly sometimes like when you get compliments you're like I have no concept of what I look like but I think vlogging I feel I'm getting a better concept of what I look like these days I think I'm still trying to grow in my own skin I feel like because now that I'm prettier I can be the true me I can embrace certain part of my personality that I wasn't able to before such as introverted aspect of me I definitely am introverted but I can be social sometimes if I have the right energy I can hang out with groups of people but sometimes it's just I can't do too much of it unless it's with the right people and I'm, I'm not here looking for sympathy I don't want comments later to be like oh you're like so beautiful what are you talking I don't think I want this video to end on the note that your time will come, you will blossom. I was just so focused on external things. I couldn't blame myself for having that mindset. It's an understandable mindset, but I didn't really care about the stuff inside. My internal worth, my mental health, journaling, doing things I'm passionate about. And I just always set it onto the side because I'm like, it doesn't matter. I want this video to end on the note that you should conduct self-love and self-care. Once you start knowing that you deserve things, simple things that makes you happy and you give that to yourself, self-care can come in many, many different forms. You will start feeling loved and then you will start feeling happy and then you will feel pretty in your own way.
And like I said, pretty is subjective. Honestly, as long as you feel like you are pretty when you do these nice, nice things for yourself, it really doesn't matter what other people think. Do what makes you happy. And I know it sounds really cliche, but genuinely, you like a certain blouse, wear it. Back then, I wouldn't wear it because I'm like, oh, I don't look good wearing it. I feel too insecure wearing it. People are going to look at me weird. And I get it, especially in high school. People are really mean in high school sometimes. But like in college, people don't care as much. But even in high school, I wish I did it. You know, I wish I wore a dress to school just because I feel happy and pretty in it. So if you like a dress, wear it. You want to wear big, big earrings, wear it. You want to do your makeup, wear it because... Maybe at the beginning people might be shocked, but once you keep doing it, nobody cares. Because everyone has their own shit to deal with, and if they really care about you, it's because they're projecting. Why do you care if I'm wearing fucking makeup? And maybe, maybe when you look back at the years, you're like, Oh my god, maybe I did my makeup really bad. But at least you did it. It's never too late to do something, but sometimes I just wished I did it earlier. So I'm saying it to you. You want to go on a coffee date? Do it. You want to start vlogging? Do it. Start posting on social media. Like maybe when you look down at the vlogs, you're like, oh, that was made really badly. The editing could have been better. The filming could have been better. Everything could have been better. But now you know. You would not have known if you didn't try. Do it. Really do it. At the end, pretty privilege exist. Okay, this is a hard truth. People who look cute, who look better, they get access to certain things. But sometimes that helped me is just the fact that I'm just gonna do whatever makes me happy. I'm not gonna compare, because comparison is a thief of joy, even though it's really hard. I'm just gonna focus on things I like. I like taking a walk at a quiet park. I'm gonna go do that. And that makes me happy, okay? That makes me happy. I'm gonna make my own little cereal with blueberries and blackberries. And Because why? Because it makes me happy. If it makes you happy, it makes you happy. You wouldn't really care what other people are doing, right? So that's my advice. Growing up ugly brings you a lot of, these a lot of trust issues because you didn't grow up being called pretty. It's almost like as if you're a different person and you're still trying to like handle that. This is how people actually have respect for you and actually treat you like a fucking human being. You know, when you're prettier, people actually treat you like a human being, um, which didn't happen before. And looking back at it, I still feel really sorry for my younger self having to go through that. Um, but and, but sometimes when you keep dressing up, it's almost like protection, dressing yourself up. Like I want to be treated like a human being, so I'm going to dress myself up. Probably something I still have to work on myself. I don't need to dress up to go out. Like someone could just go out, who cares? But sometimes at the end, it's like dressing up makes me happy. Putting on clothes I like makes me happy. I, but I, I still have a journey to go where I need to just feel comfortable in my own skin and getting adjusted to myself. This is my experience growing up ugly. I think this is more of like a brief overview of that. I feel like there's a lot more topics that I can touch deeper upon, which I can do in another journal entry episode. This is my journal entry episode three, my experience of growing up ugly. Maybe this spoke to some of you guys and maybe this helped some of you guys. Maybe this, some of you guys can relate to this. Maybe you guys are seeing a different perspective. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys all next week. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, afternoon or night. And I hope everything goes well for you guys. Sending you guys so much love. And yeah, I will see you guys all next week. Bye!